All right. Why are we focusing on her? A great shot using the green as the main color scheme. Great song choice as well. Oh. Man, that kid is patrolling the area like, you do something stupid, I'm gonna put out the gun. <laughs> Which is crazy to think about. So Jesse's looking at all this, probably thinking of a plan to use her for his advantage. I love how this car still has right. the I'm good. The blue duct tapes. <laughs> I, I know it's not the right way and all, but once I get my provisional, I can keep working at it. Nice that we're kind of continuing this development. Also character development for Walter because he was kind of he didn't like the way Walter Jr. was uh was driving the car, right? In terms of like using his feet. Hey, hey Mom. Hi, um, do you have a minute? Yeah. Could you uh, go in and keep an eye on your sister yeah, for sure. me? Thanks. All right, see you, Dad. Bye, son. Hey, good work today. Thank you. So let's talk about money laundering. <laughs> ah, flaws, Skylar. Flaws, plural, not singular. Love this shot. Using the two cars as well. Okay, my estranged husband who, when he was working, made $43,000 a year, starts shoveling money at me, and when the police come, I'm supposed to say, gee, I um, never thought about it, officers. Made sense to me, really? She has a point. She has a point, Walter. She has a point. But I'm noting a little hole in your plot, though. Which is? Why would your estranged husband be doing all this for you? Because he loves his family and desperately wants a reconciliation, though it may be hopeless and futile, then again, he'd try anything. That's believable for me. You know, maybe if he were back sleeping in his own bed. Wow. <laughs> Walter got some demands. I am going to be a part of this family, and that is how we'll sell your little fiction. But I love that we are getting this, you know, like, both of them have to come to terms, right? How about we stop somewhere afterward and get a beer? That's a nice idea. Seriously. Get a beer with me. Okay. Why are you insisting? I mean, we know why, you know, he Jesse has a plan, but... Yeah. They are sailing it. The other gang members, that is. I bought it from the two guys who killed Combo. They use kids because, hey, why not? Easy to control, easy to fool. <laughs> kind of like Walter and, and, and using Jesse. <laughs> but I love the fact that Jesse is more concerned about because they are using, using a kid. Very in line with Jesse's character. I got the entire thing figured out. No. The deliver method, everything. All I need from you is the poison. That's all. <laughs> Uh, we're, we are doing this again. Method? You're trusting to do this? You want that method? Stood up to your brother-in-law. Yeah. How about back when it was your plan? Back when we were going to use it on Tuco. Hmm. That's what you said. Untraceable back to us. To, to me. To me, not to us. Tuco wanted to murder us. These guys don't. There is the rationale. Combo was us, man. He was one of you. That's like what I think Walter is thinking right now. This achieves nothing. It accomplishes nothing. Still curious, like, like what Gus would have, would think about all of this. You are not a murderer. I'm mm. not, and you are not. Well, about that. But the first line, though. You are not a murderer. I always love that aspect of Walter in terms of like making sure that Jesse does, does not do the murder. But of course, Walter is going to be the one who's doing the murder instead, taking all the burden, although there's a lot more nuance and, and conflict within that. That was your old man. You back teaching? No, uh, I don't think either of them are working right, right now. Yeah, at least swinging now. <laughs> I don't hey. know. Diverting the subject. Don't want to talk about money. So people in wheelchairs should be in hospitals? What about people on crutches? Maybe I should be in here too. Hmm. Deal, you little prick. Psst, bitch. <laughs> 
that. I love how we transition from the previous scene to this scene. Both of them are playing cards, obviously. Not the same, but still, though. Okay, so, what's plan B? I don't know. I really don't. Well, let's brainstorm. Love the imagery of the balance there. Maybe... Maybe what? Could you get him arrested? Okay... Is that not risky? I'm picturing it my like jail, as in jail, jail. <clears throat> Situations where you're in a, an orange jumpsuit picking up litter along the highway. That's jail. Yeah. So it, it, it's possible, right? Well, well, it falls under my premium services package. Mm. It's all about the money. You understand what you have to do? If Jesse finds out that Walter's the one who's doing this, like, like if the plan falls through, Jesse might never forgive Walter. Just think of it like it's the same thing as always. You're just delivering some hamburgers. Oh, there's music playing in the back. Love how the blue map is actually blue and not green in that scene. Unlike everything else. That's great. What are you doing? If you need to talk, use the phone. This isn't a phone talk, Walter. Your wife's out, right? It's not Gus, but... <laughs> what can I do for you? Oh. Yeah, what's up, Mike? I spoke to Goodman about Pinkman and this plan of yours. Oh, okay. And? I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> because it's moronic? Uh, yeah. The problem is, the boss wouldn't like it. Saul. Gus. Gus, come on. My boss. Come on, Walt. Your boss. You know the answer to that, come on. I used to be a B-cop a long time ago. And I get called out on domestic disputes all the time, hundreds probably over the years. Hmm. And the call comes in and it's the usual crap. Broker nose in the shower kind of thing. So I cuff him, put him in the car, and away we go. And this sideways asshole is in my back seat humming Danny Boy. <laughs> and it just rubbed me wrong. So instead of left, I go right out into nowhere. Jeez. And he's crying, going to the bathroom all over himself, swearing to God he's gonna leave her alone, screaming as much as you can with a gun in your mouth. And of course he got quiet. Goes still and real quiet. Bro, the change in his tone. Me acting like I'm thinking things over. And Prince Charming kneeling in the dirt with shit in his pants. Dude, the way he's twitching, oh, dude. And I say, so help me if you ever touch her again, I will such and such and such and such and blah, 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 blah. But two weeks later, he killed her. Jeez. The moral of the story is... I chose a half measure. When I should have gone all the way. Oh, man. Captivating. Incredible performance as well. No more half measures, Walter. Gotta think long and hard, Walt. Can I have another bump? Look, you had your bump. All right, we get this thing done, then you can have all you want. Gonna need you to come with me. Holy shit. Well. No half messers. <laughs> what is Mike gonna do to the both of them? To Jesse. For the most part. I'm gonna take Jesse to uh, to Gus, perhaps. Finally, have a talk with the boss. Yep, we're going to the chicken farm. Well, well, well. <laughs> Mike's like, yeah, um, come on, come on. What? 
Walter is sitting right in... Well, well, well. Sit down. This is intense. It is possible they acted rashly. But on the other hand, there was provocation. The man was selling on the territory. And whose fault is that? Listen to me. You have one friend in this room. This man. Yeah. If it wasn't for this man and the respect I have for him, I would be dealing with this in a very different way. You don't look at him, you look at me. Incredible performance by the both of them. You will shake their hands and you will make peace. And that will be the end of this. Dude, there's something about Giancarlo's. No. No? Pardon me? These kids. These assholes of yours that got an 11 year old kid doing their killing for them. All right, all right, all right. You got anything to say here? Jesse has the moral high ground, by the way. At least in terms of like audience sympathy. Bring them back. Oh, shit. No response. Just bring them. <laughs> oh. I was, I was curious to know, like, what Gus would think about all of this. No more children. And you. You keep the peace. Shh. I was holding my breath. Incredible scene. Filled with so many tension, too. Sometimes, compromises have to be made. But what about the children, Walt? No more children. Yeah. Wow. Whoa, what? Great transitions of, of, of like Jesse moving from the right and then the kid coming into the... Hey, 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 what, 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 what are you doing? I'm just seeing. Seeing what? Seeing what I see. Hmm? Hey, yo, Marie, dad. That's what if someone comes in? Let him, I don't care if someone walks in. Marie, what's wrong with you? <laughs> if I can get the groundhog to see his shadow. It's not going to happen, I'm sorry. I'm betting it will. And if he does, you check out of here. <laughs> <laughs> it's no bet. No bet here, no bet. You afraid you'll no. lose? Oh. Oh, he's scared. If it'll get you out of here quicker, you got one minute. One minute? <laughs> All right, that's a cakewalk. <laughs> or she knows the technique. Pathetic. That's good. Keep talking. Protest. That's true. Um, this is one of the scenes of all time. Marie, give up. I mean, oh. seriously, it's... Not... Eh? No. No. <laughs> Immediately cuts the game. Brilliant. Murray, you horny ass. <laughs> Slow down, I can't. Oh god. Oh god. Not the kid. Who did it, though? A loud, harsh cry. Walt Whitman's was barbaric. Walt Whitman. I was looking out for your best interests as well as my own. And I stand by my decision 100%. So we'll just have to agree to disagree. What until Walter realized that his actions just caused the death of a kid? But first, more details. Here comes the news. Story, the murder of a young boy in the South Valley. Police have yet to release a statement, but sources indicate that 11-year-old Tomas Cantillo may have been the victim of a gang-related execution. An anonymous tip brought police to a playground. <sighs> An anonymous tip. You're not a murderer, Jesse. But Walter is. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're not separating these characters again. What do you mean? Like... Love that. Love that.
fuck. Every major death and Jesse thinks that he is the one that caused it all. Even though we know full well, Walter is really the root of the cause. Fuck. Ah, oh, sh- <sighs> Whoa, these cuts, man. Erratic. Jesse, you shook hands. You promise to keep the peace. Someone has to stop him. Holy shit. <laughs> You're not a murderer. Oh my god. <sighs> Run. All right, that was the penultimate episode of the third season of Breaking Bad. And I think this is a fantastic episode, especially by the end as we are basically setting up for the season finale. And the setup is like pretty solid, pretty great. Like it's building up the anticipation of like, okay, what is going to happen next in the series? I'm sorry, in the season finale. Um, but we'll get to that later on in the discussion. But overall, I really love this episode. I think the episode does a pretty good job at establishing the themes of what this episode is going to do, especially in the beginning of the episode where we are kind of talking a bit about balance, right? Later on in the episode, we're going to be having this talk um, between Walter and Mike, specifically talking about, like, having half measures and then going full measures, right? But in the start of the episode, we have this talk between Marie... Sorry, not Marie. Um, between Skylar and Walter, and this discussion about, like, okay, what do we got to do to make this work? Because we're going to be here together. We're This, this plan of obtaining the car wash and stuff... We need to plan it all out. We need to strike a balance between what I do and what you do, right? And especially after that, Walter talks about, okay, you want this to work? Let me stay in this house. And then they negotiate, they negotiate, making their terms, ultimately come to an agreement, right? It's all about balance. And even in this shot, right, where Skylar and Walter is talking, complete well, almost complete symmetry. I really love this. It Again, this also evokes that feeling of, you know, balance. And not to mention later in the episode, we see this shot where Walter is just like sitting, but then in the foreground, kind of blurred, but in the foreground, you see this scale and it is off balance. The scale is half measured, if you will. And I think this is just brilliant symbolism in what is to come. Because this is the start of Walter's like plan, quote unquote, on how to get rid of Jesse, or, or or at least how to subdue Jesse and make sure that he's not going to do anything stupid, right? And it's half measured, as Mike kind of described later on in the episode, like, Walt, don't do this. Go all out. Go go full on. Talk to Gus. Let it be the full shebang and all that stuff, and that's exactly what happened, right? This one might be a bit of a reach, but I'm looking at this shot and I'm thinking of, is this symbolic about the glass being half empty or half full, or, or am I just reaching out? So I'm not going to comment on this, but what I do want to comment on is the incredible scene between Mike and Walter as Mike kind of describes and talks about his past, or, or I guess the story that will be the moral message of like the entire episode right this entire scene was chilling in my opinion and like like they did a fantastic job at setting this up the lighting the mood and also the performance mm, my god jonathan banks's line delivery in this episode was fantastic especially in this moment because you see those little twitches in his in his face, right? And when if we, you know, his his quivering in his mouth, like you know, like 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 he he has this animosity, this rage, this anger as he is describing these, um, these events, this the story that he is um ta telling Walter, and you clearly you you know that this is someone who fucking hates the dude that he is just describing. It's also a great way to further tell the audience, like his personality and his conviction his 
what is he and such, because sure, there is an air of mystery behind this character. I mean, look, to be fair, we're not supposed to know his name until this point, I think. But, you know, got spoiled on his name. But throughout season three, you see what a cruel and almost unemotional character Mike is in terms of like, yep, if he is given an order to kill somebody, he is going to do it. No remorse whatsoever. Or at least that is what we think. We don't know what he actually think or feel, but that is the type of character that we are supposed to be looking at, right? At face value, right? A character who will carry out any order regardless of what it is. You know, a soldier, basically. And if that scene was intention-filled enough, the next scene with Jesse and Gus staring at each other face to face. Incredible stuff. It it almost gives me the vibe of, yeah, the the bad student being called into the principal's office and then the principal is kind of telling him like to sit down, let me tell you your punishment and such, you know, like it's it kind of felt like that, but obviously in a much more grander and more mature way but i love how in this scene jesse actually stood up for his morals his own convictions and say no you don't know why i'm doing this gus i'm doing this because those people are using children and i have standards and i think the brilliance about this scene as well because the scene is also foreshadowing that thomas is going to die like this scene very subtly is telling us that Thomas is going to die. When Gus said to the both of them that no more children, that is almost kind of a wink wink to whoever it is who is going to kill Thomas. I would probably imagine um, Mike is going to be the one to do it, you know, because obviously Mike is the one who would usually do it. But it's kind of a wink of like, yeah, no more children, which means the children, the children that you have right now, yeah, um, no more, <laughs> as in gone, gone, dead. And I love that. Like, I didn't really think about it until the moment happened, right? Until they revealed that Thomas died. And then I was like, wait a minute. Gus did say no more children. So, <laughs> Jesse shook hands on that. Like, like, he accepted the terms without actually knowing the full terms. So, yeah. And with all of that being said, the other major theme about this episode is, of course, Walter telling Jesse that, Jesse, you are not a murderer, and I'm not a murderer, but, ooh, 50-50, there is, that is half measured, right, it's, it's, that's not the full thing, half of it is the truth, which is Jesse is not a murderer, because he is not, right, all of the things that has happened in the show, especially in regards to people dying, it's not really Jesse's fault, Jesse's not the one who's doing it, but Walter is. It's all Walter's fault. Walter's the one who either insinuated it, Walter's the one who either actually does the act, or Walter's the one who accidentally or through his actions, which leads to another, like, let's say, a plane crashing down. Um, yeah, it's all his fault. Walter knows about this, but he's not going to admit it because he wants to tell Jesse, oh, Jesse, Jesse, um, we're not murderers here. We're not the bad guys. But I love the half of it. I love the half of Walter saying, Jesse, you are not a murderer. Jesse, you are not a killer. Because that is reassuring. Because that is what Jesse needs to hear. Because Jesse all this time thinks that he is the one who caused Jane's death. All of this guilt that Jesse has is because Jesse thinks that he is the one who caused all of this, even though it's not. It was actually Walter this whole time. And I just love how nuanced and complex all of this is, because on one hand, you can say that, yeah, Walter is a good guy for telling that to Jesse, but on the other hand, Walter's a pretty bad guy for not telling Jesse the whole truth. Half measured. Really love this episode. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Thank you all so much for um, watching, listening to my review discussion portion as well early access full on reactions as usual are available in the description below and i will see you all next time for the season three finale for breaking bad take care everybody have a nice day peace